I have never competed in a cooking competition. I am nervous. I have a master chef judging my meal right now. Welcome to This Is Fire. Eight top OnlyFans creators will go head to head to make some of the world's favorite dishes. You only have 30 minutes. I'm already sweating. Let's cook. I honestly flowers. don't know what fennel is. I thought it was a bird. They could be raw in the middle. We got one minute. That does not look right. And I cut my finger. Three. The oven's smoking, I'm burning myself. Two. I fucked up. One. <laughs> Who will take home the $20,000 grand prize? We've got a spicy challenge, and today's winner can practically smell the grand prize of $20,000. Let's find out who is up for today's challenge. My name is Kylie Ray. I'm a social media influencer. My relationship with food is very good in a sense of like, I love to eat it. The pasta is definitely my favorite thing to eat and make, so that's a win-win. I don't really cook fish, so if it's fish, I'll be completely fucked. I wonder if people will be surprised by my cooking. Cause like, I don't really cook on OnlyFans. Some of my fans will be surprised and some of them will be like, yeah girl, you got this. If I were to rate my skills as a cook, maybe a six? Six and a half, let's go six and a half. But I feel like today's really gonna <laughs> put those skills to the test. My name is Nathan Webb. I am a fitness model, I'm a personal trainer, and I was known for appearing on Netflix's Too Hot to Handle season two. I think the assumption is that I get a chef or I get my meals prepped for me, which that, that is not true. My grandmother taught me to cook. How would I rate my cooking skills? Probably a seven, depends who you ask. We'll put it at seven. Usually, I'll make a dish, and if I give it to my friends and they don't like it, I'm like, fucking cook it yourself then. I obviously can't do that in this, in this instance. Chef Nathan. Chef Kylie. Hello. Kebabs. One thing about kebabs, what I like is the freshness of vegetables the textures of earthy tones, of aromatics of thyme, mint, and basil, dill, Greek yogurt sauce with the tart, turmeric, salts, and peppers. It is a dish that has been here for a very long time, and I'm very excited to see what you guys have to cook. I get really nervous when I have to cook for someone, so I think I'm more nervous that I have a master chef literally judging my meal right now. Hopefully he likes my dish. This is my first official competition, so pretty apprehensive. I would like a lot more time. And you can see I'm already sweating, so it's obviously getting to me. If you show the count, yeah, we just shouldn't have worn great today. Chef Nathan, you ready? I'm ready. Chef Kylie, you ready? I'm ready. 30 minutes on the clock, $20,000 on the line. Let's cook. Let's go, guys. We're off to the races. Off to say. the races, kebabs. I cook kebabs quite a lot before, salmon kebabs. I like doing shrimp kebabs. Never Mediterranean style, but I would definitely give this a go. There's two ways I can do this. Like I can either put like my veggies and my kebabs together, how I, sometimes I do it at home, or I can do full Mediterranean style. He told me he was Middle Eastern, so I want to incorporate that. So I'm really torn, I don't know. You got a steady hand over there? You're shaking a little bit. I am, I think I am shaking a little bit. I'm nervous. How come you're nervous, Kylie? Talk to me. Why, why, why are you playing nervous? Yeah, playing nervous. Because I don't really cook red meat a lot. I like to eat it, but mm -hmm. I don't really cook it a lot. Okay. But you said you like red meat, so yes. I'm going to cook it. I know how to cook chicken. I don't know how to cook steak, so I'm going to give steak a try, but I'm going to lean on chicken. So one is, you know, my steak isn't as good. Hopefully my chicken pick up the slack for me. <laughs> What's your ultimate goal with it, like seasoning-wise? What do you season it when, you, when you're at home? I use like kind of the same ones over and over again. Mm -hmm. But I have some other things that I see here that I'm gonna try and dabble with. Okay. And I never really have a plan. I kind of just start mixing things together. I just use tons of seasoning. I remember when I would first start cooking and I'd be like, that's it. No, you need to like pour those bitches in there. Dude, you're doing a lot with these seasonings, man. I'm loving it, dude. So you, you've, you've handled meat before, so you've obviously... Uh, <laughs> I'll eat every night. <laughs> this guy's a joke. I got the joke. I'm talking about steak, buddy. I'm yeah, talking yeah. about steak, yes. Uh, uh, yeah, 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 I've handled, handled a lot of meat. <laughs> a lot of meat. I primarily live in Texas, so big meat guy. I smoke meats, I love to cook steaks, I love chicken, I love beer can chicken. Stick the beer can up the chicken's ass. 
boom, it's it's delicious. I've heard you're into barbecue, I heard you're yeah. into smoking meats, mm -hmm. I, I heard that like you really do like red meat. When it comes to like bodybuilding and stuff, yeah, I mean your forte is meat, right? Right. So one thing I can't do is eat bland food. <laughs> Who wants to eat chicken and rice every day? Right. Or ground turkey, you know, yes. with no seasoning. For me, just toss it all in. I have a healthy diet, but I have fun with it too, right? So if I have to cycle carbs, I might, if that means that I'm gonna go ahead and smoke a full rack of ribs and eat a 16 ounce tomahawk. That's what I love to do. Remember guys, I'm expecting two skewers, I'm expecting a side. We have eggplant, we got rice, we have onions, bell peppers. Well, you said to do meats first. So I love it. That's what I'm doing. I love it. In general, as a person, I'm really good with time management. So I think that's kind of where I have a one up on this. I'm also a very good listener and I take direction really well, so I pick up on little things that he says. The most challenging thing, 100%, it's the, it's the time. When I cook at home, I got this full three course meal done in 15 minutes, but the second you got someone breathing down your neck, that's what makes you a lot more nervous. And we got 25 minutes, guys. So remember, we gotta get that rice. That rice does take about 15 minutes to make. I'm loving that you're washing your hands in between everything. Yeah, I kind of screwed that one. It's all good, brother. It's all good. But I was thinking it's all getting cooked anyway, right? I hope so. <laughs> I'm the one eating it. <laughs> so when he asked for sides, I've used a rice cooker before. I remember it being pretty easy. You just kind of like put water and then put rice and then it kind of just does it on its own. So I'm not too worried about that. I don't know if I'm supposed to let that boil. <gasps> We got uh, Nathan over here already uh, laying out his kebabs. This looks great. Good job. Trying like to give you a bit, going. bit of color, you know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. For me, you eat with your eyes first. So red peppers, yellow peppers, make sure it's very colorful on the plate. I honestly thought this was a zucchini. No, that's a cucumber, dude. Cucumber, you're, going, you're being pretty daredevilish. I know. The cucumber, I'm in the right? cucumber. Yeah. But I, I like it. I'm telling you, I thought this was a fucking... <laughs> it's okay, bud. Go a for zucchini. it. I love zucchinis. I'll always put them on my kebabs. These look just like zucchinis. Cucumbers where I'm from are long, they're thin. Like these suckers bend. Like that doesn't look like a cucumber. 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 It's a trick question, they're all cucumber. <laughs> they look so alike. I don't know how to cook this. The eggplant is the most intimidating thing that I have to cook because when I tell you I've never cooked it, I don't even think I've eaten it. I have no idea where to start. I have no idea what to put on it. Like, I don't know, there's literally so many questions. Do I leave these in? Do I cook it with just this? Yeah. Absolutely, yes. And remember, we got a pan sheet down here. Yeah, I'm gonna- For if, if you wanna put it in the oven. I'm gonna put it in the oven. Okay. Oh, I feel oh. like that's gonna be the easiest take for me. I think that's gonna be my downfall. We're under 20 minutes right now, guys. Starting your rice. Starting the rice. I hate rice, personally. It's really just there because it's a carb that you probably need on a plate rather than just meat. Never used a rice cooker before. The rice goes in, what is this? It was one cup of rice to two cups of stock. If I learn nothing else, I take that with me. All right, so now we just click. And he's going? Yep. Oh my goodness. How fun! Now I'm gonna say that I've cooked an eggplant. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> Hopefully it's good. I hope so too. I really do. I already hate rejection. I'm like this poor man. What is he gonna do to me? How are we coming over here, brother? I want to give you like griddle marks Beautiful. from the eggplant. Okay. All right. So I gotta okay. try and cut this really thin. Eggplant's a tough one. Really, all I know what to do with an eggplant is thinly slice it, almost like little potato chips and then grill it so you get the cool grill marks. We'll see what Chef thinks. Smells good. We're at 15 minutes, guys. Damn. 15 oh, minutes. Shit. Every, it's okay, don't panic. You guys are good. You guys are meats panicking. are going. But you need to start forming your meats ASAP. I know. Thank you, Chef. There is so much pressure on me right now. You forget certain things that are like common knowledge too, right? It's like when you're under the pressure and someone's like, what's your knee? And you're like, uh, uh, like that's kind of what it feels like. Oh my God, I never press cook. I almost completely fucked myself over. I know that you're supposed to check on the rice and stir it every so often, and you're not supposed to just let it sit. So I walked back over like maybe five minutes later, and it's like still completely cold. Well, apparently you gotta press the cook button. I never cooked it. Oops. Oh, you gotta leave it closed. It'll 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 let you know when it's cooked. No, no, no. I forgot to press it down. Oh no. Good it's thing a... I noticed. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. That could have been a close one, yes. I think it still will be because it takes 15 minutes. It'll right? be a close one, yeah. Whoop! Did you burn yourself? Yeah. <laughs> part of it, right? That's part of the game, baby. Apparently, when you're cooking, things get hot, right? I didn't expect the little skewer thing to be hot, and they've just 
just sizzled my, that, yeah, my thumbs. But we're fine, and I feel like I'm a real chef now. I got blisters on my thumbs. All right, getting that butter nice. Okay, you gonna toast this meat and brown butter? I, I get, oh fuck, I don't know. Okay. Am I making a bad decision? I do not know. Oh I do fuck, not know. I think you're right. I think my boyfriend said I'm not supposed to do that. When you're in it, I feel like there is definitely some anxiety. I think for me, it's more so like blanking on things. I was like, went to go cook my meat and I like had completely forgot like how to do it almost. I was like, what do I, what do I do, what do I do? So I think meat is fatty enough. I don't need it, I think. Fuck. See, I never cook red meat, guys. I don't know. I really have no idea how it's gonna turn out. So we got onion powder, salt? Just onion powder for now. I'm gonna add it here in okay. a sec. Salt and pepper in a sec. I'm trying to toss everything in, right? I'm trying to be different. It's game day. Like, we're gonna, we're gonna throw some guac in there. Again, not Mediterranean, but who doesn't like guac, right? Hey, man, who doesn't like guac? This is when, this is when you tell me that you don't like guac. <laughs> Besides me. I hope it's delicious. I hope he's like, yo, this, this shit's bomb. I'm serving this at my Mediterranean restaurant with guacamole. It's Mediterranean guacamole. Everyone's heard of it, right? Not to panic, guys. We are at 10 minutes. Kylie, how are we doing? Talk to me. How are you feeling right I now? I think I'm doing pretty good. I feel like I'm a little bit behind. Yeah. But I think we're doing good. I'm just waiting for my plate to get hot. Okay. And in the meantime, I'm gonna do a Mediterranean salad. Okay. Oh, okay, perfect. That's the way I'm most confident, okay. honestly. All right, awesome. So I ended up going the Mediterranean route. I make a Mediterranean salad quite frequently at home. So I feel like I can do it. All right, I've never done this before, but we're trying it out. Let's do this. I, I wanna try and make a, uh, I don't know what it's called, <sighs> out of chickpeas, whatever, hummus, hummus. All right. Okay, this sucker goes, there you go. We get this little guy on. Where you go, brother? Boom. Go, go. Your right. top, get your ingredients in there, whatever you're doing. Remember, you got stuff in the oven too, chef. Don't yep. forget, this is a timed event, this is a competition, and there is one winner. Keep pushing, guys, keep focused. I'm literally so fucking focused. I love this, you got this. So, pick up the blender. I'm putting in my chickpeas. Wait, wait, no, 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 no. How's it, how's it? Oh, oh man. You're trying to make me choke on plastic, huh, chef? We did almost get plastic in the hummus. That's the flavor. Yeah, put, come on. That's garnish. <laughs> took my idea away. Remember, you got your. Remember, chef, you got your steak right there on the on that uh, on that countertop, sitting that steak right there. That does not look right. <laughs> Tastes like ass too. Oh, okay. I'm gonna give you that. I mean, I don't like to eat ass, so I like hummus. I like guacamole. I like eggplant, I like kebabs on a plate, I like rice. But no ass. No, no, no. My hummus is not coming to a store near you anytime soon, it was trash. Don't forget guys, let's garnish our plates. Let's pick out what garnishes we want to do as well. We're at five guys, we're at five. Damn. Five minutes? We're at five minutes. You're kidding oh me. Oh my God. Get it in a plate. They say you have 30 minutes, and then you're like, oh cool, I got all this fucking time. And then all of a sudden it's like, you have five minutes. And I'm like, and then you start panicking. Push guys, push guys. Get down to the wire. Where was I going? Over this way. When you're rushing around and you're dropping things and you're trying to remember like this is cooking over here, this is cooking back there, this is cooking over there. The oven's smoking, I'm burning myself. Everything's clanging and banging and yeah, it was chaos. I don't think my fucking yeah, rice is gonna be done. We have deep fryers and pita bread. We have deep fryers and pita bread. Okay. Yeah. I think we have deep fryers and pita bread. I think we got <laughs> guacamole and chips on the kebab episode. <laughs> hey. You can't go wrong with it. <laughs> I need a smaller presentation dish. You have one? Rather than this mm -hmm. massive thing. Would you like something flat or? Nah, oh, that, right there, that's perfect actually. That one's good? Oh fuck, I don't think I was supposed to put balsamic in it. I like, I fucked up. Oh, it was vinegar. I fucked that up. I fucked this up. You got this, Chef. Stay focused. You got to breathe. We're at one minute. Oh, fuck. There's We're no at way. one minute. Come He's on. He's like, just breathe. Breathe and you got it. But breathe. like, also, <laughs> can hurry up. <laughs> you got your meats back here, Chef Kylie. Don't forget, you got your meats and your eggplant back here, Chef Nathan. You guys are pushing for $20,000 on the line to go to the semifinals. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, 
five, four, three, two, one. You're done. Woo! Done, you finished. <laughs> Good job, guys. Man wins. Good job, guys. Our women. Good job, guys. <laughs> Chef Kylie, Chef Nathan, you guys did it. I am very excited to try these kebabs. Chef Kylie, talk to me. What do we have here? When Chef picked up my plate, I could feel my heart go bum 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 bum. I think I definitely burned calories just sitting there. I was like sitting there like this. My heart was like on fire. Um, okay, so I did a Mediterranean salad, and okay. then over here I did some rice with chicken kebab and a steak kebab. I didn't try anything that I put on the table, by the way. I just was so confident, I just played it in and was like, here you go. Like, I didn't try a single thing. I feel like I'm pretty confident in these. I don't really know how to make eggplant. I don't think I've ever made eggplant before, so okay. that's a gamble, but. Okay. I have no idea if I undercooked it or overcooked it. I just put it in the fucking oven and kind of let it do its things. Salad is good. Maybe a little more salt, mm -hmm. tiny bit, but the herbs are hitting me. The oils are great. The freshness of these tomatoes and um, beans. Yeah, I tried to really hone in on like a more Mediterranean, Middle Eastern dish. Perfect, okay, yeah. good. So let's check out this. Kylie's look great, but let's hope that her chicken was clucking still, and then we're probably gonna probably gonna win this one. But I think she did a great job. I want to say all in all, thank you for your food. Thank you. Mm -hmm. The presentation looks very Mediterranean, and I think that's where I'm gonna have a plus. My downfall, though, that eggplant. So we'll see. Talk. Yeah. What do we got okay, here? So, so for guacamole. Me, it is guacamole. Yeah, she did a Mediterranean salad. I did guac and chips with some tzatziki. <sighs> we shall see. Obviously, you got chips and guac because one of my favorite things when I go out, I pick at stuff, right? Okay. If, if you're hungry still, you're going to keep picking at your food. So chips and guac, great on the table. Okay. I always say, like, keep it simple, stupid. Right? Okay, yes. So I know how to do this. Less is more. Less is more. I, I, I do want to feel confident. I just know that I didn't make a Mediterranean dish. Heavy in flavor, heavy in seasoning. Next time, a little bit more cooked on the rice. Mm -hmm. Your steak was cooked perfectly. All in all, thank you for your food. You guys did an amazing job, but there can only be one winner. The winner of this will be going to the next round, which will be the semifinals, and one step closer to be called champion.